I recently added some more rails to my hydroponic system so I could grow some strawberries and herbs and other things. The problem I ran into is now I have two large rail systems running off the same reservoir and it's only a 27 gallon reservoir. So the plants would suck up that amount of water pretty quick so I had I was needing to replace the water pretty often every several days to keep up. So I decided I need to increase the size of the reservoir somehow. One option would be to just buy a bigger reservoir. But um, I didn't really want something bulkier in this area because I don't have a lot of room to begin with. And then also, um, I can't have anything any taller because this rail here drains out into the reservoir. So it needs to be going down to drain out. So what I decided to do is try to add another reservoir and then connect the two. The setup is pretty simple. We have a female conduit fitting that will screw onto the male conduit fitting and the um, wall of the tank will be right here. So this will clamp to the wall of the tank. There's an O-ring here to help seal it. Um, connect the male conduit to a regular ball valve. And then we just put a small, one, small piece of one inch PVC to connect the two and then use a PVC glue to connect them. Then on the other side, we have the same thing with a, another small section of PVC pipe connected to a union. And then this will allow you to screw this side to the other side. The reason I use the conduit fittings is because they don't have the tapered threads. So that allows you to screw them all the way together um, without the threads starting to tighten up. So we can tighten that as, as tight as we want onto the wall of the tank and really seal it up. Here you can see the assembly actually attached to the reservoir. So we have most of it out here. And then on the inside you have the female conduit fitting that's screwed down to really tighten it up against the wall of the reservoir. The O-ring is on the outside and that seals um, this from any water coming through the threads. Also, I should note that this was a one and a quarter inch hole, which is pretty tight for this thread, but you can you can kind of screw it in and um, then it's just big enough to fit the um, conduit fitting through it. The two sides then connect really easily just by screwing together this union. And then if you ever have to disconnect it, it's just as easy to loosen it up and take the tanks apart. Now the reason that I use two ball valves here, because then you can isolate both tanks. So if I had a reservoir over here that I wanted to um, separate, I'd, I could turn this valve to close that one off so that water doesn't leak out of that reservoir. And I can close this one off prevent water from leaking out of this reservoir and then I can separate them and you'd have just a little bit of water that was in this section of pipe that would come out but you wouldn't have anything still um, spilling out from either side. And this is the end result. You can see the water will drain out into this reservoir here from the hydroponic systems. The water will go through and then the pumps are in this reservoir, so the water will be pumped back up into the rails from this side. Then if I ever have to um, pull one of the reservoirs out for some reason or replace them or whatever, make a repair, I can turn each one off and then pull one out without having to drain out the entire thing. So this allows me to isolate either one. I'm using this several weeks and there's been no sign of leaks at either either one even though they're right right at the bottom of the reservoir I thought maybe the higher pressure would cause a problem but it hasn't so far so it seems like these are totally watertight another advantage of having the two separate reservoirs is that now I can access the reservoirs through this one which is in the open so if I need to add water or um, pump water out when I'm doing a water change I can easily do that by accessing this one but the one underneath would be very difficult to access otherwise. 
since they're connected, as long as I add water to this one, it'll flow through and level out in the other one. So this allows me easy access to the system, with, but still allows me to um, hide a lot of it underneath. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos, including an update on our strawberries and herbs. And also, as always, check out our website in the description to see a tutorial on how to build a system just like we have.